Before it's the time, police in Minneapolis have their hands full this morning after three separate shootings sent a half dozen people to the hospital. We just learned that uh, one of the victims has died. Kelly O'Connell is following all of this for us and has the very latest information from our Live Center. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning. It's been a very violent 12 hours for Minneapolis police and the city. This morning, three people are fighting for their lives in the hospital, and an 18-year-old man we have just learned just died. I want to take you through these shootings chronologically. So the first one happened about 8 o'clock last night in the Whittier neighborhood. This is a look at the scene near 27th Street East and Nicollet Avenue. Our crews spotted officers working outside of a tobacco shop at that corner. Police believe it was an argument that broke out before the 18-year-old boy was shot. Officers found the victim by a nearby home, rushed him to the hospital, but again, we just learned that he passed away overnight. About 90 minutes later, six miles north of that location, more gunfire breaks out. This in a park Lot. We're told officers found a 17 year old girl with a serious gunshot wound inside a vehicle near Dowling and Fremont Avenues North. Later, a 30 year old man arrived at the hospital saying he too was shot at that same location. He's expected to survive. We understand the 17 year old, her injuries are considered life threatening. Then, right around bar close, another fight led to shots being fired in a crowded downtown area. Police say three people were shot near North 5th Street and Hennepin Avenue, right at the intersection near Augie's in the poorhouse. We're told two men in their 20s are fighting for their lives this hour, while a woman in her 30s is expected to survive. Now, at this point, we understand no arrests have been made in any of these incidents. Police say they're still working through all the evidence, and there's a lot of it to determine who opened fire. And of course, if people involved knew one another before the shootings. But again, we're learning more and just learned that that 18 year old did sadly pass away. Tom and Anna, back to you. Yeah. A lot of violence there. All right, thank you.